guys! Today I'm going to give you an unbiased review of the homeschool curriculum service called Calvert Homeschool. I'm Shannon Germain, and this is Nick the Norm. So I'm doing a vlog series of reviews of homeschool curriculums and services because it's really hard to find them online. I know because I've tried. And most of the reviews I found are biased because they got the service offered to them for free. I paid full price. So mine are honest and unbiased reviews. But they're just my personal opinion, so keep that in mind. Today I thought I'd do a review of Calvert Homeschool. Calvert is a curriculum that offers all core subjects, not electives at least not in this point of time. I actually started using Calvert all the way back when I first started homeschooling in second grade. Calvert was different back then. I used to get this giant box filled with books and lessons plans, and it was really exciting seeing it arrive. For a kid who loves to learn, it was like Christmas when that box arrived. And that form of Calvert really worked out well for me up until about fifth grade. That's just about the same time that they started offering Calvert Online rather than sending out these giant boxes filled with books and stuff. That's when I switched from Calvert to Kristen McAuliffe School of the Arts and Sciences, which is another online school that I tried for a couple years. I'll also review them and I'll post the link to it in my description below. And while I'm mentioning it, I'm going to do a lot of these types of reviews. So if there are any homeschool curriculums or tools that you would like reviewed, please comment below because I've probably done them or know someone who's done them and I can review them for you. Anyway, back to Calvert. Since those early days, I never tried it up until just this past year. I signed up to use them for some of my core curriculums, which meant chemistry, English, and US history, since I was already using Khan Academy for geometry and loving it. Come to think of it, I'll do a review of Khan Academy too, so be sure to subscribe so you can check it out. Calvert Homeschool is now something you sign up for monthly, even though actually we pay for a full year all at once, because it was a little cheaper that way. I think I'll start off with the things that I really like about Calvert first. One thing that's really cool is that if there are lessons or assignments or something that I don't want to do, like, Say they're having me read Beowulf, and I already read Beowulf. Then my mom can go into her portal and remove assignments or entire units from the course. And the grade that I receive is based on what was actually assigned. So like skipping the Beowulf unit wouldn't bring my grade down, so long as my mom deleted it. By the way, they don't make you read Beowulf. That's just an example. Another thing I like about Calvert is that they give you actual grades. I think accountability is really important in homeschooling. I like having the feeling that a college can look at my grades and know that I got them from someone other than my mom. And I also like to know that I'm learning all the same things that kids in public school or private school are learning, and hopefully more. So I really like that I'm being graded by Calvert. I also liked that they are extremely thorough in their teaching. I mean, seriously, if you do their entire curriculum, you really do come out of it knowing that you've got a vast amount of knowledge on that topic. Now, onto the things that I don't really like about Calvert. And it's really pretty much one giant thing. It's really, really, really dry. Like middle of the desert kind of dry. Again, just one kid's opinion. But the great thing, of course, about homeschooling is that I can supplement with more interesting stuff. Like for chemistry, I use Calvert to do a lot of the memorization of formulas and things. But then I use male science or books with experiments to kind of make it come to life a little bit more. In fact, I'll put some of my favorite supplements below in the description. Ditto for history. And I always think it's such a shame when history is presented in the wrong way because it should be so exciting and enlightening. So you'll probably want to do some supplementing there too. 
So that's the biggest drawback to Calvert. The only other complaints I have is that at this time they don't offer any electives. But they say they are going to start doing that soon. So those are my thoughts on Calvert. I've used it for a full year now, and I don't think that I'll be signing up again next year. Because I found that we had to supplement with so many different things to keep me from getting too bored. But there are some really great aspects to it. They usually have some kind of option where you can try it out for a month. I really encourage you to try because there's a lot of good stuff in there and it's worth checking out, especially if you can get a free trial. I hope this helps you choose whether or not Calvert will be good for you. Remember to like this video if it helped you at all and please, please subscribe because I've got a whole list of vlogs I'm going to do on this topic. Thanks for watching.